Day three of the Texas winter storm, guys. We're over here at La Michoacana Meat Market trying to get some food. It's one of the only stores that's open, right, Boo Boo? Yeah. One of the only stores. And let me show you guys right now how long the line is to get meat. This is the line all the way. I'm listening to the people that are in front of me in line and they're saying that they just came from Walmart. I don't know if you guys can hear me because of my face mask, but um, they just came from Walmart and there's no meat at Walmart. Yeah, the line's all the way back over here. We've moved up a little more on the line, but the line's all the way, it curves, it does this little curve right here, it goes all the way up there. And so we heard some people saying that it was an hour wait here at the line and then an hour wait over there um, to check out. So I don't know. Whatever we have to do, we're going to wait here because no other grocery stores are open. There's another one open, but it was super packed as well. So it's a little bit scary. <laughs> we made it over here to the meat, guys. We're going to get some fajitas and some chicken breasts. Finally, guys, after about an hour, we're already at the store and ready to go home we're gonna see if we can go get some water burger to eat because it's already almost three o'clock and we haven't eaten anything yeah guys so as i was saying we're gonna try and see if water burgers open i had my sister-in-law tell me that water burger was open they were having water burger earlier this morning and so we're gonna go try and check it out and see if it's still open so we can grab a bite to eat otherwise we're gonna go home and cook up something that we bought we bought um what did we buy baby we bought yeah we bought fajitas and chicken breast i bought disposable um cups and spoons and plates but yeah just a little food to get us through these days because all the other grocery stores are closed it got ugly, guys. Look at all that ice right there. Going really slow through here. But yep, guys, we're on day three of this snow. And we're expecting more tonight and tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes with that just documenting what what's been going on we still have power thank god we do but i know there's still some people that don't have power we were chit chatting with some guy that was in line in front of us and he was asking us if we still had power and i told him yeah you know thank god we did and he said um, that he did too that their power hadn't gone out that we were very blessed you know that we still had power he said that his in-laws they had to go pick them up from their house because they didn't have power and no heat at all so and the temperatures right now, they're no joke. So right now it's 19 degrees here in the truck, that's what it's saying, but it is, it feels really, really cold. So we'll see. Right now, like at the store, everybody was all bunched up in line. Y'all saw that and I told hubby, we can't even get mad at the six foot, you know, six feet distance because we just, imagine if it was six feet, the line would be all the way outside the store. <laughs> It'll be just a mess so everybody's doing the best with what we have everybody's being like courteous friendly you know trying to help out each other <laughs> because we're not used to this like i said this car look how fast it went around us guys because we're going slow and then there's a hill down there so i tell you guys <laughs> I don't know why they think that they have experience of driving in this weather when we never ever get ice or snow. Yeah, you, you guys can't see, but he's over there tailgating the car in front of him, going down that hill. Shame on him. Look how it looks right here, guys, this snowy hill. What happened? He started sliding. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, guys, did y'all see him slow he down? He got the brakes on. He got the brakes on. Uh huh. He got the brakes on and he's still sliding. That's what he gets for rushing in front of us. Yep, that's what you get. <laughs> but, anyways, we'll see if Whataburger's open or not. So, Water 
Whataburger is open and this is the line. The line is all the way past um, Whataburger's over there and this is Burger King and the line's all the way into Burger King's um, parking lot. But we're gonna have to wait here as well. I mean, we gotta be patient. You guys know that I'm very, very impatient. <laughs> but and during times like this, we have to be super, super patient. And there I go with my super. <laughs> Guys, there's a Whataburger employee that just came out and I think he's telling everybody that there's no more food. Or, is he telling us to go or I don't know what he's gonna say. Let's see what he's gonna say. Oh man guys, so it's 408 and the guy just told us that they're gonna stop serving at five. They're gonna close at five o'clock and I guess you know makes sense because employees have to go home, you know. So dang it. It's 408. He says we he thinks we might should be able to get, you know, through the drive through but we'll see how it goes. Uh, we're just gonna have a tortilla with salt, babe. Yeah, we're gonna take it old school and just eat tortitas Lemon with salt. And salt. Boom. I have beanie hair, guys. <laughs> um, we're still waiting. It's 427, and I don't know if you guys can. I'm not good with my phone, but. There's still quite a bit of line. Why did that guy get off? But anyways, guys, like I was saying, it's 427, and I think we are going to make it because cut off, like I said, was 5. They said at 5 o'clock, that was it. You know, no more taking orders. So I'm hoping we make it. So there was this little blue car that I guess got impatient, and he went like the other way because Whataburger has two lanes, right? So he came, okay, there's lane A, lane B. Through lane B, he went the wrong way, and he tried to jump the curb, and he got stuck right there. He's stuck. Hubby was like, look, look, babe, what is he trying to do? And I'm like, oh, I don't yeah, know. Oh, yeah, trying to help him. Yeah, here comes a whole bunch of people. I'm telling you. there. But he, I don't know why he did that. I don't know why he would want to jump the curb. I can't record it because it's blocking. But the cars are blocking, so I can't record it. I was going to record it when we got closer, but there's already people walking and trying to help. There but let go, me see right go, now if we go. get to it, and I can show you guys what he <laughs> did. I mean, he's over here laughing because he's like, why would they do that? And it's a little bitty car, too, guys. And there he goes. They ain't gonna move them. Because they're going to be slipping. There he goes. He thought he could jump that curb. Lane B is closed. I'm, I'm guessing because there's not a lot of employees. So this is Lane B. He was coming the wrong way, like from, from that way. And he was trying to jump the curb. But he's just, oh, babe, that's why he didn't come through here because of comb. Yeah, but he could have easily got off. <laughs> now they're trying to help him they get his little car it. out of there. See, guys? If you don't know what you're doing and you're not used to driving in this weather, don't try things that, no, that are just not right. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hopefully we do make it to the window. We got 30 minutes to spare. Let's see. Go, 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 ooh, go, go, go. Y'all almost got it. Y'all almost got it. Go, 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 go. go, go. go. Ooh, they got it? Or did it yeah, get stuck from the... they got it. Lucky. <laughs> Hummy was over here laughing from afar because he saw me. He's like, look, look, look at the idiot. Where is he going? And then I'm like, I don't know. Because I was talking to my son on the phone. He goes, he's going to jump the curb, babe. He's going to get stuck. And sure enough, he did. But I guess he's free. I bet he won't do that no more. <laughs> and we made it to the window, guys. <laughs> Thank God. I was like fearing that we weren't going to get here. Hubby was like, I knew we were going to make it, but the line was moving really, really slow. Time to go home, guys. They gave us this really cute little water burger bag. It's like plastic and sturdy. And then all of our meals are in here. And our drinks. I bet in and out don't give those kind of bags. <laughs> Free bags. Boo boo. We're on our way home now, guys. And we're gonna stay there for the rest of the night. And we have food for tomorrow. We yeah, have we water, do. everything. So we do not need to go out tomorrow until the next day. We'll see how it is. It's supposed to start snowing today some more. See. Hey guys, well right now it's 734 and hubby got called from work um, to go fix a pipe of, or something. What happened boo, -boo? A sprinkler. A sprinkler busted and the carpet, my hubby works at a hotel 
So the carpet got all wet and he needs to go fix all that. He got called in right now. Can you guys believe that? And uh, we're coming through Cocker Hill. It's a small little city that's, you know, close to where we live and a uh, little town, whatever. And it looks like from some point on that way, there's, they don't have electricity because everything is dark. Like there's no light at all. And like we live really close, so I don't know if we're gonna be next or what, but like I said, we're still fortunate and we still have, um, we still have our water and we still have um, our electric, everything, our power. <laughs> We have everything still, so we're very blessed and fortunate. And like I said, we're on our way to my hubby's job. Like it's a how many, how many minute drive? Like a 15 minute drive, but we're going really, really slow. So I know it's gonna take us a while to get there and we'll see y'all when we get over there. Everything is super lonely. Turn through that street. No, because there's a hill too. Yeah, but we'll be headed Jefferson, no. Jefferson is flat. We're gonna take it straight through here and at the light there's like a little hill so we're hoping we don't slip. We got the line from Popeyes over here almost out to the street. But I guess Popeyes is open, boo boo. <laughs> yeah. We hardly don't get Popeyes. And then over here there's a a little razor putting uh, gas over there. <laughs> They're getting ready to go on a little spin. Power is out over here, guys. I don't know if y'all can see. There's a 7-Eleven. Everything is out. The lights right here. They're not working. This is Singleton and Westmoreland. For those of you that live here in Dallas. This Valero right here. No light. Power. Everything is out. Closed. Hey, I don't know why that wash and dry has all them lights right there on. It's open too. <laughs> but it's not. It's closed. They ain't got no light there. No. No, there's some people do have lights. Look, the houses do. See? That's good. No, but it's the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they yeah, do. the houses have lights. They do. It's just... I don't know. Oh, it's scary, guys. This is scary for us because it's a winter storm. And I keep saying it over and over. Like, we're not used to this, so... We're gonna have to start raising chickens and all that. <laughs> Go back to. Yep. Mm, yeah, because all the grocery stores are closed. Very few fast food places are open. So we're over here at the hotel and hubby's working and I'm over here looking out the back window and their pool is frozen. During the summer, the boss lady lets us come and swim over here. But right now it's frozen. Guys, so the power went out here at the hotel. See, there's a bed, another bed. And we're waiting to see if it comes back on. Otherwise, I don't know. We'll probably have to come back tomorrow. I don't know. Um, the boss lady said that they hadn't had power for two days here at the hotel. So, Guys, so we had to come home because the power didn't come back on. And we're going to come back tomorrow. See how the conditions are. Look at that guy walking yeah. in the middle of the street. Man. Oh my goodness. But yeah, guys, it's really, really bad. The hotel, um, like I said, the boss lady said that two, they haven't had power for two days already. And they had power today. And then one of their uh, main water lines busted. And it was just a big mess at the hotel. But we'll probably come back to, well, not probably. We'll come back tomorrow if their power comes on, right? Yeah. But we only came tonight because they told me that they're gonna pay me double. Yeah, hubby was like, I'm gonna drive in this, you know, conditions. But yeah, she told him that she was gonna pay him double, so we're good with it. <laughs> hubby was good with that. So um, let me put my seatbelt on, guys. And yeah, day four of this hot, wintry mess, guys. Laundry mats are still closed. I'm looking like a hot mess. I told hubby I don't even care anymore. Um, right now we're out and about because you want to tell them why, babe? Our laundry, one of our laundry uh, water lines busted. Yeah. Good thing it's an easy fix, so it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. 
well I don't know if y'all heard him very well but yeah one of our lines busted in the laundry room so he's gonna we're going to Lowe's right now see if we can find the pipes it says it's open we're hoping it's open my son um, he works at the Home Depot and they closed early yesterday so I don't know if it's open it says it is we're hoping it is um, well we're gonna go to the Home Depot first over here yeah no, we're, forget it. We'll just go to this one. I'm already coming down this way. Okay. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure see. out which one we go to. We're either going to go to Home Depot or Lowe's to go and try and find the pipes for it. So see if Hubby can fix it. He says it's an easy fix. So here we are. The road conditions today, they're more icy. Right, baby? They're, yeah, they're a bit more slippery today. Um, yesterday it was more like snowy, but now you can like we're slipping and sliding a little bit more today so Yeah, and usually like when we got out this morning too, it's it wasn't fluffy like snow It was like crunchy. So there's ice over the snow and then there's snow over the ice yeah. So oh my gosh see like right here. It's sliding We have to go really slow Alright, an update on yesterday, um, hubby didn't go back to work because this morning um, he called boss lady and she said that they still don't have power since last night when we left. And so she said she would let him know when the power goes back on so he can go finish doing what he was doing. But yeah. Um, we're hoping we find Lowe's open. It's chaotic over here guys in the... In the in the plumbing aisle, there's like a whole bunch of people over here. Find them? Yeah. Me oh, did you find one? No, right? I don't know. I'm going to have to check. I'm going to have to check. Hubby found two little fittings that we hope fits. Um, I don't know. It's, going, it's crazy up in there <laughs> at the Home Depot. I think like a lot of people's um, lines busted. So they're all in the pipe aisle trying to find the fittings for their pipes and pipes so that they can fix them but we're gonna go home right now and see if, if these fit or what how heavy can fix it because it is an easy fix like he said but the problem is um, finding the problem is finding the fittings for it because everybody's looking for the same thing Guys, I'm still a little shy to record like at the stores and stuff, you know, because people, when they see you with your phone out, they automatically think you're recording them, you know, and you're not. You're just, you know, showing, um, you know, you're not focusing on them, but people automatically think you're focusing on them. So I really didn't, you know, take out my phone much over there at the Home Depot, but hubby climbed up this thing. Everybody was so desperate. They couldn't find the fittings they needed. And then there was this. Um, a couple of guys next to me and they were talking about those are it up there those are it and they were looking at him he goes I think I'm gonna go up there I'm gonna climb up there and hubby heard them <laughs> so hubby was like which ones he goes is that the box that everybody needs you know the fittings that everybody needs and they're like yeah yeah he goes okay he goes I'll climb up there and I'm like oh gosh there goes hubby <laughs> so yeah he climbed up there and he got the box but it turns out those weren't the fittings that anybody needed right yeah but yeah, he'll be climbed up there. He goes, just, you know, if I climb up there and get him, just give me two. And because we needed two. And he goes, all right. But it turned out that those weren't it. We're sitting here at the drive through line at Burger King because we're going to get something to eat since we have no water at the house right now. And um, boss lady called Babe that the power went on over there at the hotel already. So Hub's going to go fix that at the house. And then we're going to head to the hotel so that he can finish um, fixing it. Right, babe? Yeah. So those are our plans for today. <laughs> Everybody has their trash cans out, guys. If y'all can see, right there, right there. They have their trash cans out since Monday. Today is Wednesday. And the, like I said, the trash didn't pass by to pick them up. Hey guys, so it's already 6.07 and we're already on our way back home from hubby's job and we're gonna go work on our pipes that busted. Well, hubby's gonna go work on it, but I'm gonna be there with them. So see how that goes and 
I'll keep you guys updated on everything else that's going on and see when this winter mess leaves us. Guys, so I'm in the house, right? And hubby went outside to see um, if he could turn on the truck and everything because it is super cold. And he goes, babe, um, step outside the, the back door and look at what I did. And I thought he had built a little snowman or something. But this is what he did, guys. He put Lily and Wanda with the heart really big in the snow <laughs> in our backyard. Aww. If that ain't love, then I don't know what love is.